I want to test it clean. 500 pounds, world record. 508 is the IPF record. So I can feel, I, bro, I feel like I can demolish that, yo. Yo, my boy, yo, you about to. What is gaming? Gaming is a gateway to escape the world, to become hero or villain, to live the way you have dreamed of without any second thoughts. To some, gaming is even motivation for reality. They can teach us to work hard, to be better, hitting us emotionally. Gaming always will be there, a part of our lives, and we are thankful for it. The past, present, and future. I'm gonna get too high. Me and Russ are already on the boards. It's my turn now. Two, three. <laughs> What's up, YouTube? Your boy is back going plus ultra. We here, man, at the gym. We got E3 going on. You know what I'm saying? So we got the gym, got E3 going on. Hope you guys enjoyed this collaborational video. Um, just kind of going through what I, just the shit that I like to do, man. You know, y'all seeing me vlog a lot more. I mean, not vlog, y'all see me doing live stream gaming a lot more on my uh, my YouTube. Usually I do it on Twitch, but people are loving it. You know what I'm saying? I get, I get damn, stop saying you know what I'm saying? And stop saying, um, Tehran, all right? Just don't say anything. I gotta practice on not saying anything, all right? Because I, I said, bro, I say um, and, and like, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's like my filler. So let me breathe real quick. I was about to say, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> All right, stop, don't even say all right. All right. <laughs> Anyways, um, yeah, so for you guys, I just want to bring that connection with the fitness and gaming, which you'll hear from the vlog side of this video. But today we about to fucking kill some weights. I'm telling you right now, all right? I'm gonna get a clean 500 pounds. When I hit, when I can bend 500 with a pause, and then be able to get what? I think the, the the world record for my weight class, 230, at the IPF is 505. So I'm not gonna compete until I can hit that clean. When I can hit that clean, clean as in like, like pause on the chest, and then they say press up, then I'm ready. I want, I want to go on my first meet world record from the start. Let's go. And don't forget, IPF is tested, so. I want to test it clean, 500 pounds, world record. My boy, my boy Russ got me, got me going. I ain't motivated, but I'm about to see him, man, do all that, man. I was like, damn, that shit looks fun. So I want to go in and break some shit. I feel like I can hit that shit today. I think I might hit up his coach. What do y'all think about that, me getting a powerlifting coach? I'm stubborn, so that's why I ain't got a coach. I'm stubborn like my mama. Mama's stubborn as hell. Super stubborn. Yo, you ever, you ever met somebody so stubborn, you just like, no matter what you say, and then like, bro, this one, this one, this one, this one make me, mom, I love you, but this one pisses me off, bro. And you know, I realize sometimes I do this. I'll talk and try to explain something, and this is her. No, 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 Teron, no. Bro, I just be like, shut the fuck up. Let me fucking talk. God damn. Ooh, this should be irking my nerves, bro. What's up guys, I'm Teron Beckham, AKA FB Aftermath, here at E3 2019. Even though this is the fitness channel, we're gonna show you guys the gaming world, how things roll at the E3 experience. This is my fourth year here. I'm so excited to show you guys what I pretty much go through at an E3 event. First off, I wanna say this video is sponsored by G Fuel. Make sure you grab some, the best energy drink in the gaming industry completely, period. Sugar free, all right? Use code AFTERMATH for 10% off. Don't miss out on this great deal. We had a 
uh, such a blast at this event through day one, day two, day three. And this is something that I feel everyone, every single one of you should be a part of. Whether it's once in your lifetime, two, three times, it doesn't matter. Gaming is a part of my life. Anime, all those things are a part of my life. It made me who I am. I'm motivated by it. I work out by it. You know, I'm just trained to, to feel emotions for the things that we go through in gaming and anime, uh, more so than reality. But that being said, I'm sure a lot of you can resemble with me and how I feel towards it. And you know, don't be afraid. Don't be afraid to take that in and become who you wanna be, all right? That's what my channel is all about. As you see in the intros and the endings, it's all about becoming who you wanna be, you know, risking it all for yourself. They're probably gonna tell me to bring my, my grip out. I don't know if I can do that. How does it feel to lift out here? Two more times. You got me? Appreciate it. So we'll get this out the way. Then do my accessory work. Push pull. Let's do this right before I hit up full five. So we are at 465 right now. A lot of grip doesn't feel that bad. I don't feel that much power loss or sturdiness. Um, but we'll see if I could change that. Do I feel much of a, a range of motion increase? I mean, decrease? Not really. Because I mean, that's like the main reason to keep your arms out wider. I'd rather bring them in and feel stronger and a harder press than to be out that wide. But we'll find out. If, if I have the energy, and there's times where I've done it twice. So if I have the energy, I'll, I'll do the first attempt wide. And if it doesn't go, then I'll bring my grip in. And I'm gonna, that's kind of when I'll be able to, you know, test out or, or determine which feels better, which felt easier. Easy money. Two, three. Yeah. Cool. That's where it's gonna get bitchy. We got 465. Clean. Hold at the top. Let me try to get a good arch. Two and a half is five pounds. I'm tripping. So this is actually 505. Xenoverse just felt a bit too loose yeah. to me in terms of the controls. This right here is a lot better in my opinion. Who is that? Now yeah, that's sick. I'm trying to see the, um, yo, you want to try it? Yeah, I'll try that joint. Okay, okay. How you do that charge? That, that, that charging that you did? Wow. Okay. Yeah, that charge is fire. Oh, how you do that?
Four pack. Four pack. I mean, it's a good. It's good. I like the like like I said the whole RPG aspect of it, but yeah. stuff like that, I just can't. Like, I'm gonna get tired of that every I five can, minutes. I can, so. I can see that for sure. Cause I was kind of getting a little fatigued. Like, it's, it's, it's kind of like if you play like Blue Dragon or the older Final Fantasies, yeah. when you got into a yeah, yeah, boss yeah. battle in an RPG or whatever, yeah. it, it froze. You went into battle mode. Like, yeah. no, like just make it. We, we too developed now, yeah, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, That's yeah. why they're doing Final Fantasy VII over, yeah. just to, you know, because we just want we want an RPG good. with just straight action. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> hey, yeah, man, yeah, get where y'all yeah. need to go, man. All right, I'll catch yeah, up. Yeah. Much love, nice man. Nice meeting y'all. Plus Ultra this shit, man. Also, I'm off a test pre-workout right now. A test pre-workout of my own that I'm kind of formulating. So, just to kind of give y'all a little heads up. One, two, three. Up, up. up. All right, up. It felt good. It was going. But I felt like my, my grip was a little bit too wide, so I'm gonna change the grip. I'm gonna go one more time and change the grip up. It was going up, bro. Yeah, it was. I felt good, it felt good, the pause. Just pause for a second though, right? Yeah, I'm supposed to. Just pause, hold it like that? Yeah. Uh, wasn't a bad rep. I don't count it as a bad rep, especially for the last minute um, grip change. Uh, I, I felt, it felt good. Even the pause felt good. It felt like I could get it. But the fact that I just wasn't mentally used to being out so wide, so my power exchange to where, you know, where I wanted to transfer into the bench wasn't really there. And I was just trying to find that sweet spot. So I think with enough practice, if with that grip, um, I can definitely, I can definitely pull that off, but we're gonna try this one more time. I went down 10 pounds, so I'm at, uh, I'm at 495 right now uh, for the bench. Stop saying, uh, 495 for bench. And we're gonna go back to my regular grip. I'm gonna see if I can still get that, that, that quick pause and then uh, explode out of that pause. I need some of the Prodigy again, man. The Prodigy is my, Prodigy is my, my heavyweight band to listen to. Light up the sky. Light up the sky is a song from the Prodigy. When you're ready to PR, you're ready to hit some heavy weights, listen to the Prodigy, listen to Light Up the Sky. Ready? One, two, three. Now I want to go up. I might go up. I might go one more. Yeah, I could have left the five. I feel like I could have left the fives. I might, I might, I might leave the fives on there. Let me see how this bench was. All right, let's go one more. Now I want that title to say five hundred. Give myself a good break. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna push the shit out. I'm the black guy playing the black guy. I need to invert, invert the look. I've never seen an inverted hey. player before. Hey. This game is what I have seriously been waiting for. Ghost Recon Breakpoint. John Berthnall. That's right, that's right. All right. Ber Berthnall. You got it, Berth Berthnall. Like Berthnall, John Berthnall. All right, John Berthnall, the Punisher, the Snitch, the... Did you watch the Snitch movie? Oh, that was a good movie. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Who was the sheriff? He was the sheriff in Walking Dead. Oh, yeah. And so this game right here, got it, got Ghost it. Recon Breakpoint. Oh, it's just total badass military. Let's just, you know what I want to say. John Berthnall, the Punisher. All right, the most badass actor we could ask for, aside from Keanu Reeves. But the whole storyline behind this and the military games, you know, I'm glad it takes a third person outlook on military gameplay. You know, we already get we already get games as Call of Duty, um, uh -oh. uh, uh -oh. Battlefield. You know these these total army games that give us these first person but you know what about that third person what, what's that other viewpoint all right I this mean, game right here is all about you know specialization customization I all right know. tactical gameplay and teamwork i like games that involve teamwork 
to be able to play this game having 4v4 gameplay um, to go online with your friends and just being able to be in total different this this is the future this is where we are at right now you don't have to be in the same home to play great games with friends it doesn't matter all right the fun is still there these games now are creating the, the atmosphere that you're in the room with other people and that's what I love about games like this. All I have to say is Ghost Recon looks like a great game. I can't wait to play it. I'm sure you guys are excited for it also. Oh, we did it. Oh, yay. Now it's a haul, B. <laughs> going for the powerlifting IPF bench record. That's what I'm going for. For I think I'm think at, uh, I think it's supposed to be a 105 kg, I think. Yeah, 105 kg, which is 230, I think it comes out to, to be. Yeah. 105 kg is 231 pounds. So I get one pound extra. Two, 230 is already my, my yearly, yearly weight. So in RPS, so I feel like I can crush that. I definitely feel like I can crush that. 500, five, what's the IPF record? Let's see. What is he quit? I gotta find out what equipped is. So 230.5 kg, which is 508.1666, 508. So 508 is the IPF record, right? We got 500 right here. No, no powerlifting, no powerlifting training at all. So I can feel, I, bro, I feel like I can demolish that, yo. Yo, your boy, yo, we about to, let me shut up, bro. I'm getting too hyped. Me and Russ are already on the boards. It's my turn now. I don't care about squat deadlift. I just want one. I just, I just, I just want my bench. I'm a bencher. I like the bench. I like the deadlift too, but they use straight bar. If somebody did a straight bar deadlift with 860 pounds, I don't, I'm, I'm, I don't know if he did conventional or sumo. Your weight class? Yeah, for my weight class. He did 860 pounds on a straight bar. Not even a deadlift bar, yo. That's crazy. Bro, it feels so much heavy on a straight bar. All right, we'll hit up the project again. Let's go. Round two, baby. One, two, three. Let's go. Let's go. All right, next week. But, all right, so after that, after that, what I realized... I need to work on some work work on some flexibility, especially when it comes to trying to arch, shorten that range of motion a little bit with my stance. And I feel like if I can keep that same power, that power uh, uh, um, grip that I use for bench, and get a little bit more flexible in the back area, then I can really just really just grow on uh, doing this bench, powerlifting with that pause, get a nice arch. You know, since I can't, since I don't feel comfortable with the range of motion out here, I bring it in and I get that arch to, to decrease that range of motion, you know, so to make up for that narrow grip and then kind of make my way from that. Yeah, yeah, if I can do that, we'll be, we'll be, we'll be solid. We'll be, we'll be hella solid. So here we finally got a chance to play Watch Dog Legions, which I am super excited about. I love games where it's free roam world open and just tech. Technology is just so interesting to be able to control, to be smarter than what you really are in something and to be able to control things that you normally can't go out and control. Like, hey, I'm gonna walk out and turn your car off, wait for you to get out, see what's wrong and steal it or something. Or I'm gonna be an old lady and assassinate a whole building. I got somebody who had another idea of the game. Let's see what they had to say. The hottest game to me that I saw that surprised me the most was Watch Dogs uh, Legion. That, yo, I, was a, I new game. promise you. Nah, watch out, this is the third one. Yeah. It's the first game I ever saw where every NPC, like not the non-playable characters, you can use every single character. Like, let's say you're a grandma. There's certain things you can't do, but there's certain things you can do because they don't think you can do nothing because you're a grandma. But you're actually an assassin, so you can walk, walk up to somebody, smoke them, and nobody will think you're doing nothing because you're a grandma. Let's say I saw you, I could track you and recruit you, and now when I fight, I got your skill. 
because I'm you now. I yo, son, it's unbelievable. And when you go through the story, everything changes. So it's like if I'm a new character, it still plays into the story. Twelve different ways of dialogue. So no matter who you pick in the world, the story will be intact according to that person's personality. I've never seen a game do that before in my life. All right, come come up here. All right, so we're gonna move on to some uh, accessory work. Single arm dumbbell press, right? Single arm dumbbell press, some back movements. So we got chin ups. Um, bro, we just we just about to go plus ultra right now. Plus ultra, everybody. Give me some give me some plus plus ultras in the chat right now. You know what? I actually feel like doing decline today. I haven't done decline in a while. I do like how decline makes my chest feel. I just don't do it. I believe decline actually really helps build the triceps. Cause I used to do decline a lot, a lot more back then. I used to do decline over bench just because I could push more weight on decline. And I believe this is what gave me my uh, overwhelming triceps. <sighs> Wider on the decline though. Hey, nine, ten, eleven. Solid. Oh hell no! Nah. You didn't come straight to the gym after that? Do you don't you don't take no pre-workout then? I'm trying to lose myself off because it fucked up my appetite. Yeah. See? I told y'all, everybody, yo, this should be fucking the appetite, that caffeine. I was dead. Went to sleep for like three hours in the middle of the day. Woke up, but like, oh shit, it's nighttime. That's how I feel right now, just eat that, that fresh toast. Sugar, bro, that should have put you to sleep, bro, I'm telling you. All right, let's get this set in. Yeah. We're doing deep line right now. Anyway, hit that notification button, hit that like button. I'm gonna try to hit up Bart Kwan and set up a mock powerlifting uh, competition at Barbell Brigade. You know what I'm saying? Uh, just to kind of get a feel of the atmosphere and the requirements for powerlifting competition. Um, so yeah. <laughs> All right, cold vein. Oh, that's a big bitch right there. Oh! So one of the games we played at E3 is Code Vein. Bandai Namco is known for their famous Dark Souls series, and Code Vein goes along with that in an anime type of flow. Although it doesn't feel as fast paced as Dark Souls was, this game is still something to really consider. If you like something hard, something just very challenging, then this is the game for you. And before I mention the anime series, now picture this. Have you heard of the Gorillas? I like to combine the game with the Gorillas. There's a song called Stylo. Check that song out and you'll see why. It doesn't matter where you're at at the E3 convention, you're gonna find somebody that fits your personality. There's no reason to be unlike yourself. And that's the great thing about E3. A lot of times when you go out in the public, you just feel like you have to hide your personality. Well, you don't have to do that here. So this year at E3, we have made Great connections with Ubisoft, Bandai Namco, Square Enix, WB, and many more. These companies, although I'm pretty sure they're trash with so many people coming to them at an event like this, took the time out to give me time to have content for you guys. And I'm very thankful for that. So shout out to those companies. And once again, every I've been working with these companies for the last couple years, um, mainly Bandai and Ubisoft. So a special shout out to those two companies. Now, when it comes to E3, yes, it's crowded. Yes, there are a lot of people. Yes, there's lines, gaming, whatever it is. It's just the atmosphere and experience that you're going for. Um, so we got floor presses, dumbbell, 
from the ground. Probably gonna use the hundreds first. See what I can work up with. I'm gonna stay in the rep range of six to eight. Uh, so still working on strength, unilateral strength. There we go. I'm doing floor is because I've done two press movements. I don't want to add any more nag to my shoulder. Blocking out the haters. They can't see me. What's up, guys? We are at the 2K booth, about to get some Borderlands 3 gameplay behind the scenes action right now and also we'll be doing some captured gameplay which will be on my other channel so definitely check that out man uh this is the last day of e3 we're having fun this is all the game capture uh this is the game capture day for us today as the other two days we're just kind of like giving you a glimpse of what goes on at e3 and um now's our fun day so hope you guys are enjoying and i'll tell you more later uh don't want the gunner the operative the siren so my personal favorite game out of the entire entire e3 experience is borderlands borderlands is just such a fun game now this is the third installment in the borderlands series and i have to say they really outdone it outdone it bazillion jillion gazillion of guns it's like what more do you want but more guns you can even throw a gun you can, you can throw a gun and it turns into a little turret and it just like starts firing, right? The, the fact that, look, who else, what other game lets you throw, a, like the reload is you throwing the gun and it explodes and you just pick up another gun just right out the back pocket. Like, I don't know, like where'd that gun come from? I don't know, but it's here. So that being said, like Borderlands is just so creative. I love the art style. You know, it's not like the smooth edge, like it's very cartoony, wild, crazy, and that's just what makes the game so great because it's wild and crazy. And I'm glad they brought it back and 2K is really just doing it right now. And that is my most ready for game. All right, 2K, Borderlands 3, it's coming. It's coming, it's coming. So we're gonna do some stabilizer, some stabilizer movement from the back. So work on my traps. I like to use the Smith machine for traps. And then we want to hit some uh, lats heavy uh, and then possibly some lower back as well. So we're going to start here. I do set to 20. Not heavy. It's going to be light. Hard contractions at the top. Uh, 19, 16, 19. Out so far, you want to throw up? I don't know how I feel right now, or maybe just because I'm hungry. How are y'all enjoying the video so far? Ooh, the thumbs up. That's how you know I don't train traps like that. My shit is already pumped. Oh shit. I 
Hey, so Def Jam, right? When that new Def Jam fight from you know? <laughs> <laughs> when that <everybody, laughs> when I knew Def Jam coming out, yo, want that, yo, everybody. damn, that should be so crazy right now, bro. It would right now. No, 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 but we gotta go back to the Def Jam fight from New York, not the Def Jam after that. No, 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 Icon, the no, Icon, Vendetta, fire, Vendetta was fire, bro. Come on, bro. I mean, the story, the stories, the stories on Vendetta and Fight for New York were just so good. Incredible. And then I didn't, I, 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 I lost it. Next up, we have Roller Champions, a new Ubisoft game that I'm actually very excited about. It is a three-on-three -three rollerblading basketball-style game that plays somewhat like Rocket League. Now, as soon as I saw the game, I thought, wow, this is Rocket League. This is the new Rocket League. That game went pretty good. It had tournaments. That's a game that I never thought that would have tournaments and turn out so big. And I feel like this game actually can turn out big in tournaments. And we had a blast. Nah, I don't know how to get in these conferences, bro. And then I asked Dimitri, and he was like, yeah, you should let me know earlier. Like, he don't know who he is. Like, that, that's what it is. He don't know the value and who he is. Bro, why does everybody yo, tell yeah. me that? Yo, sir, you T, bro. Like, oh, man. Like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I just had to give you that pep talk. I don't care. Nah, like, nah, I appreciate I, it. I, I, appreciate I love it. what you do, bro. You burn it up? I appreciate it. Oh, uh, yeah. The Deuce Know It Alls Gym Rap. We'll see you on this and tell you you're a pussy or whatever. This is actually a very good tool I use to give really strong, really hard contractions when it comes to chin ups, you know, protecting around that spine, having a strong spine, something I use, especially for deadlifting and any, any type of back movement, keep the shoulders strong, keep the back strong. This right here. So we go down. I try to keep my, my uh, glutes activated. So squeezing the glutes, keeping everything tight. Coming up, squeeze, hold it. Two, three, down. One, hold it, hold it. Oh, two, three, down. Three, hold it, hold it. One, two, three. The last one. Three, six. For like three to four sets. Tucking that pelvis in. Strong squeezes at the top, holding it, little iso hold at the top. This is that work. Cyberpunk. Yeah, Cyberpunk? Oh yeah, you, you like it? It's good, yeah. It's good. Which, uh, yeah, yeah. Did they give you the stealth type or the whole like guns blazing? Both. Yeah. Both? Oh, okay, okay. They gave us the stealth. It was good. It was good. good. Yeah, I just want you guys to say what's up. That's why you want to play somebody else. <laughs> Ah, nice. Doing good for the first time using it, man. Ain't nobody missing that if you get beat. Ain't nobody missing that if you get beat. It's playable. Oh, bio, bio, uh, bio music.
Now this game, I'm pretty sure everybody has been wild about. All right, Keanu Reeves shows up. Please welcome Keanu Reeves. And everybody goes freaking insane. Cyberpunk 2077 has been something that's been on our minds for, what, almost two years now? Bro, the teaser came out six years ago. Six years ago? How much more time are you going to use and kill us? All right, give us the goods. Give us the goods, please, because like, this game is, it's one of a kind. We really haven't seen anything like this. Now, my personal, you know, thoughts after seeing gameplay, I think this game would be better in third person, but yet I really haven't had the chance to play it yet. I'm just saying that it feels like a third person game over a first person. Now, if there is a option to go third person, then that would be freaking awesome. That's my, that might be something they haven't showed us yet, and I'm just hoping that they have that option. I'm hoping for it. You know, or at least, you know, games like Destiny, when you go into your super mode and it goes in the third person for melee attacks, I would so much love that, you know, especially using their robotic equipment. That's something that I feel like would give us the most pleasure out of the gameplay. But the fact that you can go stealth mode, uh, brute, um, you can change your class, a lot of things come into play when it comes to tactics and how you're going to uh, complete a mission that stuff like that is just great you know it gives us multiple options we want multiple options we just don't want a one-way train track that's just boring shout out to ninja game 3. that being said this game is something that i'm sure a lot of you are really looking forward to i'm looking forward to it as well and keanu reeves dude wake the up samurai out we done enjoy the rest of the video powerlifting gamers nerds every year with Bethesda man we come here and I, 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 I get the press card and then I don't email them and then we don't have any like, exclusive game capture or anything to do with them and then they just give me the same thing just come early in the morning and tell them blah 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 I'm like god damn it I gotta be here early tomorrow anyways, cause to, I mean, I don't know what to do today, but tomorrow's gonna be like, literally game capture from like 9.30 to like three o'clock. Like from back to back to back to back. We got Code Vein, we got Blessed Unleash, we got Rad, we got Final Fantasy. No, no game capture for Final Fantasy, but we get to play it, which I'm sure Jeff, you wanna play Final Fantasy. Um, Final Fantasy seven. When it comes to the Final Fantasy series, I've honestly never played any but 15. Now, 7, on the other hand, plays just like 15, so I'm gonna backtrack into the present, which is now the future, if that makes sense. Now, I didn't like Final Fantasy due to the pretty much turn play attack mode. That wasn't my kind of game. Now, I know it's a popular thing, don't hate me for it, but I just like to pretty much hack and slash. And that's what this game pretty much seems like. Hack and slash, a little bit of strategy, some magic there, dizzle dazzle. It looks beautiful, but didn't really feel like much more than that. Now, the story, I'm pretty sure, is what a lot more of you are interested in along with the gameplay. And I feel that I'm interested in the story as well. So that's what's gonna keep me to playing the game even more. Um, and just, it's just awesome to see Cloud use his buster sword and destroy people. I mean, there's really not much more than that. You see Cloud, you see the sword, you want to attack. You bastard! Yeah! Square Enix. Square Enix. Square Enix. What's going on, man? We've been waiting for Avengers for a while now, and I'm mind blown at what we got, and not in the best of ways. Quick time events? We want serious beat em up gameplay, Avengers. 
and what is up with the 1993 faces why does why does black widow look older than what she really is why does thor look like the freaking justice friends back on cartoon network with today's graphics and technology do we deserve better i think so no, no, I'm not, I wouldn't, first of all, I would never talk shit about tattoos because it's light skin and they show up well. Mine? Listen, man. Wolfenstein, Doom, Ghost Recon, Cyberpunk, all great games coming this year and next. E3, once again, has really brung together a crowd of people that have one thing in common, and that is gaming. Gaming is the biggest, I, I'm pretty sure is the biggest market there is, and there's a reason why, because who doesn't love gaming? So one thing I wanna add on is, although you see on my channel fitness, you know, and I say gaming is my motivation, I might sound like a, such a nerd right now, but it's the truth. Whatever motivates you, it doesn't matter what it is, as long as it motivates you to get what needs to be done, done, all right? I sit up here, I get up in the morning, I eat my food, I go work out, come back, stream, which you can follow on twitch.tv slash that aftermath. I've had my share of nine to five, coming back home, going to work out, coming back from the workout, gaming a bit, you know, little by little as it increases until I got to this point where I can just do these things for you guys, whether it's fitness or gaming. And one thing a lot of people have told me is like, yo, Teron, stop all the gaming. Like it's, it's whack, it's nerdy, and honestly, gaming is the reason why you like my fitness side in the first place. So no one has the right to tell you, you know, why you should like something, why you shouldn't do anything, if that's what you love. So that's my message to you, and hope to see you guys at E3 2020. All right, guys, that is it. E3 has come to an end, 2019 event, and we are very excited for the announcements made. We're very excited to be here once again, and we can't wait for next year already. Now, what were you interested in most? Comment below what games you're most excited for, and uh, we'll see you 2020. Woo! My name is Jeff.